Well, hello again, and welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth but Heavenly Minded. And I'm your host, Irv Grish. And today I'm just going to let you know what uh, what I'm up to. But before I do that, I just can't believe how fast I can do uh, my work now, uh, recording. Uh, I purchased another computer, so I have two computers, and it it goes more than twice as fast. And uh, I just finished going through the book of Job, and there was about uh, oh, seven and a half hours worth of recordings, and I got it all done today already, and it's not even noon. <clears throat> so I, I get up early, though. I was up about four o'clock this morning, and got to going pretty early once I get my coffee in me I'm pretty good well as you can see I got on the screen here if uh, you're watching the video if it's just an audio you're listening to it's uh, we're going to be going through the four gospels uh, and this is a writing by Samuel Redout and uh, I went through the introduction already to uh, today and uh, I really enjoyed the uh, introduction because it it uh, brought out uh, the fact that uh, God uh, is involved in everything that's happening, everything. And he starts off by quoting a verse out of Hebrews one one, which is God who in times past or Sunday in times uh, in, in device uh, uh, ways or derived manners spoke in times past unto the fathers by the prophets as in these last days spoken to us by his son. And the gospels are the word of God and the life of Christ who was God in the flesh. Uh, and so he starts out with that, and, and the introduction is not real long, so I would just say go through it. And there's 10 chapters, so I'm going to be starting chapter 1 here pretty quick. Uh, and the the chapters cover this. Chapter 1 covers the uh, revelation of the Gospels uh, to the other scriptures, or the relationship, I should say, not in revelation, but re relationship <laughs> excuse me uh chapter two covers the gospels themselves and a uh, preliminary question and then chapter three the object of each gospel and four the parallel passages uh in the gospels and then chapter five the relationship of the gospels to each other it's kind of important uh, I liked one time we did a, a systematic study in the four Gospels, and we cross-references each one. So where something was spoken of in one Gospel, and in another Gospel, we looked at both of them, seeing what was added or omitted. And then in verse, uh, or chapter 6, I'm sorry, uh, the analyzation of the Gospels, Chapter 7 is the parables and the miracles. And then in chapter 8, we're going to look at uh, doctoral teachings of the four Gospels. And then chapter 9, uh, uh, typical and symbolic representation of the four Gospels. And then uh, in chapter 10, last chapter, we're going to look at... Uh, the literature of the four Gospels. So, with that said, uh, let us start our study. And uh, I'm just going to stop sharing my screen here for a minute. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Till next time. Uh, and uh, we, I don't know what we're going to go through next, but uh, it might be the lectures on the book of Hebrews. One of the brothers in our chapel is going through the book of Hebrews now. And uh, I may put the link in to his messages in the writings by Samuel Redhouse on the 
Hebrews when we get into that one. But right now, we're just going to go into the four Gospels, so bye for now.